Hi guys, welcome back to Vandessa J. Well, today we are talking about one of the most Southern items that you can use in your kitchen, and that is the cast iron skillet. Here in the South, guys, I am located in Georgia. I grew up in South Carolina. So one thing my grandmother always used in her kitchen, that was a cast iron skillet. So today, guys, we're gonna talk about how to season your skillet. And also, guys, I end up finding mine red at Goodwill. So let's get her on to talking about my skillet. So guys, I went into my local Goodwill and was not looking for anything particular. Passed by this skillet, happened to look back down, and bam, I found a cast iron skillet. I did do some homework on this skillet, went on Amazon, and this skillet sells at $69. It is in beautiful shape. It's in beautiful shape. And I only paid $15, uh, let me see. Yeah, $15 and 51 cents for it. Um, I love it because they have this safety on there. And you know, back in the days, the only thing you had was a hand mitt. So you just do that with the hand mitt and bring it in and out. One of the most things that I remember my grandmother cooking in it was cornbread. So guys, what I want to do, when you buy these pre-owned, you already know, um, you see the shine. Um, someone has already cooked in it. You don't know what it is. So what I wanna do is show you a quick and easy way how to clean your skillet and to also all it and to get it seasoned back up for you. So guys, the first thing, one of the most easiest ways to clean and sanitize your pan, adding water into your pan, that is like ugh, a no-no. It's just a no-no. So what I like to do, um, this is my second one that I have. So what I love to do, I have a self-cleaning stove. Guys, it saves you so much time. So what I wanna do is show you how to do it in the oven and your oven can get clean and also your pan at the same time. And after that guys, after it has finished its whole entirety of the stove cleaning and my pan, we will come back to go ahead to season it. So let's go ahead and pop this in the oven. So guys, with my skillet, I have this rubber that was automatically made for this pan. So the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and remove that. Um, it probably will do good by me cleaning it, so I will hand clean this myself. So this is the rubber protector, and that is the name brand. I will give you some information on this same pan um, in the description below. So guys, this is up close of what my pan looks like. So um, I want to go ahead and get this prepared and put it in the stove. So let's go ahead and pop it in the oven. So guys, this is a perfect time for me because it is time to do our monthly cleaning for our stove. So guys, I'm getting ready to kill two birds at one stone. Now that I have the pan in the stove, and if you have a self-cleaning stove, you will see clean. So now what I want to do is go ahead and hit clean and hit start. It will automatically lock my stove down. And so now at this point, you see where my door is locked. It is flashing, so therefore I have one hour it's gonna do its cleaning, so I will see you back in one hour. So now, at this point, I wanna go ahead and clean my handle. Um, I can pop this in the dishwasher, but I choose to just go ahead and wash it to make sure that it is thoroughly clean. So the first thing I wanna do, so I want to 
clean this with some Dawn dish detergent. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just put just a little bit inside and I'm gonna scrub this. mashing it together because I want to get whatever I can on the out inside out and that is how I am gonna have this clean and now I'm just gonna dry it off and have this ready so when the oven finish I'll be ready to pop this on Okay guys, so many hours has passed and you know the stove had to clean itself clean for two hours. So now it has been many hours later. The pan now has completely cooled down. So guys, you know what time it is. It is time for us to pull it out. Okay guys, so you know what time it is. This is the outcoming, outcoming of the pan. So you see what it looks like. So now let me go ahead and show you the beginning. This is what it was looking like. And now guys, this is what it looks like. So now at this point, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to all my pan. Okay guys, so a lot of people do all their plans with the wrong thing, especially when you're talking about cast iron. So I'm gonna use an ingredient that my grandmother used to use, and that is your friendly Crisco. So this is Crisco, I don't know if you can see. See, Crisco. So this is what my grandmother used to, see Crisco, make sure you can see it. This is what my grandmother used to season her pans with. And um, that is what I'm going to do the exact same thing. My grandma would have been 108 years old now. She was born in 1913. So if it worked back then, I know it'll work for me now. So now let's go ahead and season this pan. So before I use my Crisco, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and wipe my pan down. Because you see it has so much of debris and all of that in here. See that? So because it is pre-owned, pre-loved, however you want to call it, I do want to get somebody else's. My sink is right here, so I'm putting it in my sink. I want to go in and remove as much as I can. And also, guys, yes, I want to go in the back because we do have another step that takes about... 12 hours, but I'm going to do it for 24. So this is after I wipe down the pan to get all of that other debris. So this pan is totally now sanitized. So let's go ahead and all that. So the only things I'm going to use is my Crisco and just a cloth. So I don't want to use a very good cloth, but a cloth that is definitely clean, definitely clean. So now the only thing I want to do is go in here and all this pan down really good. And the other step, I'm going to show you what the next step is going to be for this pan. And make sure you don't forget your handles. So you do want your handles and all of your lips. 
on your pan. Make sure you do all, all of that down. So I know at the next step, guys, what we get ready to do, a lot of people are like, why? So the next step, guys, we are going to all the back of the pan. The reason why you want to all the back of the pan because you want to make sure your pan does not whop at all. When you are frying things, cooking cornbread in the oven or all, so you want to make sure that you all all the outside very well. And then we're going to go to the next step. So on my outside, I do want to oil it very, very well. Okay, so guys, now at this point, I have my pan all very, very well. And of course, you can see some of the Crisco still there, and that's there for a reason. So now what I want to do is just take another pan and I want to sit this pan inside this pan. And I'm going to sit this in the oven and let it sit and let it like bake a little bit on about 150. Okay guys, so guess what? Our pan is totally done. So let's go ahead and let me show you the outcome. So here is our pan. It is ready to go for me to do a lot of cooking in it. So if this video was helpful to you, you know what to do. Leave it in the comments. Please do thumbs it up because that helped my channel tremendously. So if you are watching the video, just thumbs it up for me. That is perfect for me. So until the next time, guys, to give you something that is helpful for you in your kitchen, I'm going to say goodbye. But please do like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up my video. Please do share it out. Tell a neighbor and tell a friend. And until the next time, guys, bye.